happy new year to our esteemed viewers welcome to the news on the app as brought to you from the advent cable network nigeria television acnn tv i am rachel Ibuni. While the religious citizens were engaged in prayers and thanksgiving services, people all over the world visited centers and parks where official countdown concerts took place. The year 2021 birthed in New Zealand, Australia, Hong Kong and some other countries before Nigeria. In Nigeria, just as the clock struck 12 a.m. on Wednesday, signaling the beginning of a new year, citizens took to the streets in jubilation across the country. At some of the centers of attractions in Lagos, fireworks lit up the skies, displaying bright and colorful sceneries. Elsewhere in Bangkok, Thailand, fireworks light up the night sky to welcome the new year. Reports from London, UK shows countdown into the new year. At the eve of the New Year 2020, Christians all over the world assemble in their places of worship to appreciate God for the past year and to pray their way into the New Year, making supplications and declarations. In Basilica of Grace Church, Gudu in Abuja, there was a loud cheer and victorious celebration as soon as 8 o'clock, 12 a.m., January 1st, 2020. <laughs> Afterwards, the vicar, Venerable Festus Mwafili, released some prophetic declarations. Elsewhere in Anambra State, Nigeria, at the St. Peter's Anglican Church, Mpago, the members engaged in heartfelt prayers asking God for a better 2020. The vicar, Reverend Sunday Ilo, led his congregation in prayer operas, making supplications and declarations. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Yes, sir. Thank you for bringing us to the end of 2019. Yes, sir. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Worship Him. Worship Him. It is not by your own might, not by strikes. Out of this love. The primate church of Nigerian bishop of Abuja diocese 
the Most Reverend Nicholas Oku has admonished Christians to cling unto the name of Jesus, forsaken sin and be saved. He made this admonition during his 2020 New Year service held at the Cathedral Church of the Advent Life Camp, Guarimpa, Abuja. Speaking on the naming and circumcision of Jesus Christ, the primate said the circumcision was the seal of covenant in the New Testament, while naming of Jesus is the gift of power that God has given to humanity, urging all to bind themselves to the name of Jesus, for in 2020, the name is our safety. Invoke the name that is above every other name. And you will sleep well. If they come around, the mighty sword of the living God, who acts, who speaks, who listens, who hears, will take care of you. So in 2020, as you march on, every winding of the way, mind unto yourself that name Jesus. Have no fear. It has never failed, it will not fail. No amount of trouble will make it fail. The name is above every other name. The clergy, while appreciating God for the new year, said the new year is the activity of man calculating the time and season of God. For God is everlasting and he knows all about the time and season. He added that 2020 is a map God has designed for men as he journeys through the year to reflect and draw nearer to him, saying our closeness to God should not be hypocritical. Now, the specific things that are in the days and in the weeks, even in the hours, it shall not live a hypocritical life. So... In 2020, do not have two faces. Tell your friend, do not have two faces. The Archbishop of the Ecclesiastical Province of Oweri and Bishop of Idiato Diocese, the Most Reverend Caleb Madoma and wife, Mrs. Onyechi Madoma, in their New Year message have admonished the church and Nigerians not to lose hope as the year 2020 is going to be a better year for everyone. In as much as they are still working with Jesus, the master of the universe. We thank God who has led us through the year 2019 into this new year 2020. My message to you all is a message of hope. Hope that 2020 will be better than 2019. The God who led us through is still alive. So, as I wish you all a happy new year, I also plead with you, please, to be subject to those in authority, our leaders, even our elders, we should respect them. Please, citizens of Nigeria, be subject to those in authority. And also for the church, God himself will continue to renew us as we wait on the coming of the Lord. The word of God tells us that those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. So we must renew our strength and be strong in the Lord, so that when the Lord comes, He will take us home. We will not fail. We will remain faithful and steadfast and hard work. We will not, we will not be lazy, we will be strong. No matter the hard times and difficult times, the Lord will see us through. In the name of Jesus. My message is that I want everybody to embrace Jesus Christ. That is the only way to success and the only way for good health and progress. As I said, Jesus, in life, you say, you say to use this and you will be in crisis. So if you want to have peace and joy, embrace Jesus. The Archbishop of the Ecclesiastical Province of Bendel, Anglican Communion, the Most Reverend Friday Imakai, 
has lamented over the poor economy of the nation, as he is of the view that the high exchange rate of dollar, which according to him is too high for the comfort of every Nigerian. The cleric on his New Year message called on Nigerians to work hard and improve productivity and agricultural sectors of the economy so that they can depend less on exports and oil revenues as a major sources of income. Archbishop Imahai further urged political leaders at all levels to unite and work towards the common good of all Nigerians by providing all the basic amenities to her citizenry as it is the best way to make lasting impact in the economic and political ecosystem of the nation, Nigeria. He also charged President Muhammad Buhari to operate a structurally fair and just system where no man will be unjustly oppressed. He stressed that the president should see to it that new jobs are created to absorb the innumerable unemployed class of graduates roaming the streets of Nigeria so that they may not resort to antisocial tendencies which have the capacity to disrupt the peace of the society. The cleric further called on church leaders to commit themselves to the preaching of the authentic gospel. The Lord Bishop of the Diocese of Kwara, the Right Reverend Sunday Adewoli, has appreciated the Lord for yet another year. According to him, the beginning of everything is always pleasant, but the ability to sustain the temple lies on an individual. Hence the need for Nigerians to have strong determination to succeed this year. We want to congratulate each and every one of us and thank the Lord for bringing us to the beginning of another year. So once again, let me say Happy New Year to all of you, viewers, listeners all over the world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. The beginning of everything is always pleasant and always fantastic. But the ability to sustain and maintain the temple lies on the determination of an individual. As we have come to New Year, the new month, the new day, the new week, I want us to have strong determination as a nation that we are going to succeed. Not only to succeed, there must be a revolution, total revolution in the way we live. We must, we must do overhauling to our life that is not honest. We must try to live honest life we must live a life that is worthy of emulation, void of corruption. We must love our neighbors. We must do things with the fear of God in our mind. The Diocesan Bishop of Okeoshun, the Right Reverend Folusha Tayo, has urged the world to be grateful to God for yet another year, stressing that they should forget all that had happened in the past and look forward to hope and progress as the year is a year of great transformation. Compliments of the season and Happy New Year 2020. If for the past one year, a lot of water has passed under the bridge. But we want to thank God and thank Him profusely for saving our lives. We cannot thank Him enough. But at this time, our message to our diocese, to our state, and to the nation in general, is that we should forget all that had happened in the past and move forward and look forward. It is our year of great transformation. The bishop's wife, Mrs. Henrietta Taiwo, prayed that God will meet everyone at the point of their need. She also prayed that God will grant them every good heart desire. And we thank God for how he has been a tremendous assistance to all the believers of Christ, for giving us grace to see the year 2020. I pray that this year will be the year of transformation for every member of the family, and most especially believers in Christ, all our heart desire this year shall be granted. The Lord, the Lord has packaged and what the Lord has pattern and packaged for us will be achieved this year in the name of Jesus, and we shall be one with every one of us in Jesus' name. I 
I pray for all, uh, all those that are in the authority. Nigerians have been admonished to fear God and toll the path of peace and allow God to work out their ways in life because Nigeria as a nation is in desperate need of God's help. This was posited by the Venerable Ephraim Akanya, Vika St. Matthew's Anglican Church, Guarimpa, Abuja, as he encouraged Nigerians to draw closer to God and shun lip service. We should fear God to the path of peace and allow God to work out our ways in life. Nigeria is in desperate need of God. Many people now have thrown God to the dogs. If you talk about God, God is on the lips of Nigerians. Whereas God is supposed to be a thing of the heart that comes out in the way we do things for people of the world to know that truly we have encounter with God, particularly with Christ Jesus. So my message for the world today, and to Nigerians in particular, is that they should allow God to have his way in this country. To our leaders in government, they should allow God to have his way. Let them not force things down the throat of Nigerians. The cleric further called on the government of the nation to work on improving the country's economy in order to avert social voices in the country. So it's good we fear the Lord and told the part of peace so that we don't bring unwarranted crises here and there, killings and all the things we see. If the economy is better, the people are doing well, there will be uh, uh, fewer cases of uh, kidnapping, fewer cases of arm robbery. So let them work on employment. Many of our youths turn out from school every year and they sit at home. Even the ones that are employable, it is difficult for them to be employed. So the government should sit up, the government should tow the part of peace, the government should always do things in the fear of God. We pray that God will intervene in the politics of Nigeria. We pray that Nigeria become better. Not in distant future, but Great. very soon. And still to come, Buhari promises to stand down in 2023. That will be after this break. Please stay with us. Welcome back. Thanks for staying tuned. For more on our top stories, please visit our website at acnntv.com or youtube.com forward slash acnntv. And to be up to date with our news and other programs, download the ACNN app for Android from Google Play Store. And now on the national news. President Mohamed Buhari has assured Nigerians that he will leave office in 2023 as he is determined to help strengthen the electoral process both in Nigeria and across the region. He stated this in his New Year Later to Nigerians, which was released by the presidency on Wednesday, January 1st, 2020. He reiterated that he will not be available in any future elections, but is determined to help strengthen the electoral process both in Nigeria and across the region, where several ECOWAS members go to the polls this year. 
in his letter titled, A Letter from the President at New Year. President Buhari stated his primary concern is the security of the nation and the safety of its citizens. The former vice president and presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, have alighted poverty and illiteracy as part of the major challenges Nigeria must tackle urgently. Following his repeated calls on the federal government to give special attention to the menace, Atiku believes this will go a long way in addressing the issue of insecurity and other problems bedeviling the nation. In his New Year message, the elder statesman observed that the rate of insecurity will reduce in the country if poverty was addressed, with a special focus on the war against insecurity in the Northeast. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has arrested a former senator representing Kaduna Central Senatorial District, Shehu Sani, for allegedly extorting $10,000 from a businessman, Alhaji Sani Dauda, owner of ASD Motors, who has a case pending with the anti graft agency. A statement by the senior advisor on media and publicity to acting chairman of EFCC, Tony Omokeodo, on Tuesday said that Al Haji Dauda, a popular car dealer in Kaduna, complained against the alleged activities of the senator, Sani, who he claimed collected the said sum of the grounds that he is very close to the EFCC boss, Ibrahim Magu. He added that Senator Sani is currently being squeezed by the commission over the allegation of name dropping, using Mr. Mago's name to scam suspects who have cases with the commission. And now to the international scene. The Bishop Anglican Diocese of the Trinity in the Convocation of Anglicans in North America, Right Reverend Dr. Amos Fagbamie, has prayed for open heavens in the new year for all Christians, especially the members of his diocese. In his New Year message and press release to the members of the diocese, the bishop prayed for inspiration and direction towards their vision and all they set out to achieve in the New Year. I declare in the name of the Almighty God that in this New Year and decade, the Lord will order our steps, inspire our thoughts, direct our actions, unite and establish us for monumental achievements, for signs and wonders, for miracles and uncommon testimonies. We shall operate under open heavens. God will give us new songs. We shall testify of his greatness and our whole being will praise him. This year and in the new decade, we shall receive more grace and abundant blessings for multiple accomplishments, remarkable successes in our endeavors, fruitfulness and substantial increase in the work of our hands, in Jesus' name. Bishop Fagba Mie went ahead to declare the new year a time for proactive evangelism and pragmatic missionary works. The decade 2020 to 2029 is hereby declared decade of proactive evangelism and missionary blowout. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. That is it on the news on the air. Thanks for watching. We wish you all a prosperous new year. I am Rachel Ibumi.